guys, so I am freshly back from the New York City Marathon and wanting to focus on recovery. Now, in the first couple of days after the race, I have to admit, since I got sick, I didn't eat enough, and when I did decide to eat, it was a large bag of popcorn covered in peanut brittle from the Hershey store. So not exactly the ideal recovery. Now I did have some green smoothies in there and veggies as soon as I got home. But for me, as soon as I start the ball rolling with that amount of sugar, my body is on board. I'm like, yeah, let's have some sugar. That's doing nothing for my recovery. It's totally creating inflammation and getting me back into some bad eating habits which are harder for me to combat during the time where I'm supposed to be resting and recovering. So I know a lot of you have this same issue. After the marathon, you either dream of food or as soon as you get done, you stuff your face and then it kind of keeps going for a week, which is not cool. So when Skinny Limits reached out to me about a juice cleanse, I was actually really interested. So most of you know I am not a fad diet person. I have never done juicing. This is not about weight loss. I wanna be really clear. This is about getting my body some high quality nutrition and about resetting my taste buds so that I don't keep this trend going of overeating on the sugar, which is gonna cause inflammation and make it harder for me to get back to running as quickly as I want to like tomorrow. So what is Skinny Limits? Well, let's talk about this. This is going to be a three day juice cleanse and it's actually six bottles throughout the day. I've never done something like this before, so I'll be really interested to tell you how I feel uh, during and after as well. But the goal here is getting nutrition directly into my body so that it can be absorbed quickly. One of the interesting reasons that people are often not hungry on a juice cleanse, when you assume you will be, is that sometimes our hunger is a manifestation of not having the right nutrients. And this is nothing but straight nutrients into that digestive system. No work needs to be done. So my body is already fatigued. I'm gonna make it super easy for it to get what it wants. On the Skinny Limits Juice Cleanse, I'll have details posted below about what's in each of these, but it breaks down to be, there are the pure and simple, which is what I have for meals one, three, and five throughout the day. And then there is the balance, uh, which is meal number two. So they're all, you know, similar but slightly different, I think is the best way to sort of look at it. They contain a lot of the same things because they are greens. Um, meal number four is the Scorpion Lemonade. So this is kind of what you've heard about if you've heard of the cayenne pepper cleanse. So um, this one will probably do a little bit of cleaning out, but otherwise most of this shouldn't be should be really soft on the system. Now the one I'm actually really excited about, and it's kind of nice because it's the very last one of every day, which means you get to look forward to it all day, is this Crescent Moon. So the Crescent Moon is raw cashews, vanilla bean, agave, cinnamon, coconut oil, sea salt, and water. So basically it's really thick, satisfying, sounds a little bit like a dessert, it's gonna hold you over all night long so that I'm not waking up in the middle of the night starving. So I will be starting this tomorrow. That's how this process works. They will send it to you and then the very next day is when you actually wanna start. So today I'm having tons of greens and lots of fiber. I'm kind of helping my system get ready and I'll let you know how it goes. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching. So that was just one of the many tips that come in the daily clean and lean project emails. You can find all the details in the links below. But seriously, if you have any other questions, I love hearing from you. So hit me up on Twitter, on Facebook, or even in the comments below. I'm run to the finish everywhere, and I love hearing from you. So shoot me your questions. Tell me what other information you're looking for. Do you want to know what I'm wearing? Do you want to know what shoes I run in? Let me know.